your sister Leslie's funeral, Nick didn't show up to the funeral. No, he did not. Was there a reason why he didn't show up? Because he was performing two hours away for a solo concert in front of 200 people in Rochester, New York, and that was more important. What's up, you guys? It's Al from Catalyst here. I'm going to be reviewing this clip from uh, Vlad TV again. This interview is still going. We're on part eight, so uh, make sure you go subscribe to Vlad. Um, I know some people haven't been checking the Vlad channel, so that's why I've been kind of resharing on here. Um, but make sure you go subscribe to Vlad if you want to see it directly and support where the content came from. So uh, this one is about Leslie's passing and... Uh, Let's, let's see what he has to say about this. Yeah. I got on a bus. I was broke as a joke. I got on a bus and I used my last bit of money that I had to fly every single one of my family members to Leslie's funeral. And I, I was broke and, and, and drive there on the bus because I had to pay for the rest of my family's tickets. I was like panhandling, trying to raise money. I had to get on a bus in Koreatown and a Greyhound bus in Koreatown, New York City. Right, because the next year in 2013, that's when he filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. So you were already on the edge at that point. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course. Yeah. Well, in the bankruptcy, it said that you owed $3.5 million? The bankruptcy said $3.5 uh, $3 yeah, because they got most of the penalties taken away first My because I had to hire tax uh, tax specialists, ta forensic accountants, and they had to go back years and years and years. It cost me over a hundred thousand dollars just. Twenty five years old. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. She joined the twenty seven oh, club. Was that your twin sister? No, I have nightmares about that all the time too. Sometimes, like I'll wake up and I won't realize which sister is gone, mm. and it's like really hard for me. Like I'll wake up, like is it did Angel die or Leslie? Die? I, sometimes I get confused when I wake up. Were you guys really close, you and Leslie? Leslie and I were very close. Leslie and I, she was my best friend, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, we went through a lot of stuff. Leslie, you know, had some uh, some, some things that she was going through. But if you watch House of Carters, the, which I've been doing lately too, and, I, and I've been watching Leslie a lot on it, and I'm like, wow, none of us were listening to her. And all she was doing was asking for us to listen to her. And her emotions and her feelings. My brother would turn away and walk away from her, you know. And I had dealt with my previous stuff with Leslie in the past, you know, that she obviously healed from, you know, and for and said she was sorry to me one day for. And so, you know, going through abuse like that at, at a young age. But here, here's the thing: is is Vlad gonna bring up what Aaron said about Leslie, and you know what I mean about, uh, you know. Her potentially doing stuff that, to, doing stuff to Aaron that affected his life, if you know what I'm saying. But she was the one that was abusing you? She, yeah, because she suffered from bipolar and, and she had some, you know, it runs in the family. So yeah. most of the people in my family that have the blue eyes actually are the ones that have the bipolar disorder. Yeah, my friend uh, Disco D, who was bipolar, he ended up hanging himself uh, in his mother's house. Uh, I mean, it was, that was a rough Everyone keeps trying to tell me I'm diagnosed schizophrenic and bipolar and, and manic. And what I, that, that, that's what I said. And instead, they clipped it to where it says, One to, to go it's, to. It's, right. it, it's, it's horrible. And yeah. there's such a stigma behind it. You know, I did the doctors uh, uh, recently with my mom when I took mm -hmm. her to rehab. And they were clipping things where I, I, I said to them, I said, I've been diagnosed bipolar and schizophrenic, all for clickbait. Okay, well, my, my. I don't, I personally, I mean, I'm not a doctor here. Um, I've known, I think I've known like two people who had schizophrenic type symptoms, and I don't feel like that's Aaron. I don't feel like Aaron has schizophrenia. Um, but I know that there's different, there's different levels to it, obviously, but I don't. I don't get that at all. She would talk to herself. She would hear voices. Okay. When, when right. her and you know her daughter were just around, she would talk to her voices. At one point, her voices told her to kill herself, and she jumped out of a window. You okay. know, schizophrenia is a very, very serious thing. It's not like just one of these so, regular. So you grew you know, up with it. So, well, I've been around it. Yeah. So talking to me, would you consider me a schizophrenic? Absolutely not. Would you consider me manic depressant? 
Uh, doesn't appear to be. Because there's there there's a persona, and there's and then there's well, the d- depression has so many angles to it. I feel like someone who's you know seemingly happy can be depressed. You know, there there's different. D- depression, you know, a lot of people think emo or depression equals emo, but that's not always the case. What I am behind closed doors, right? And that there's, you know, there's a difference between, you know, that kind of persona and then my pop, my, my personal life, mm-hmm. you know, and I will stand up for myself and I will be loud mouth. I'm entitled to my freedom of speech. So when I see people smearing my name or coming at me, I'm, I'm going to come at you with my words first, my intelligence, and I'm going to try to get you to calm your ass down. And if you don't, I'm going to have process servers come find you. Well, your, your sister Leslie's funeral, Nick, didn't show up to the funeral. No, he did not. Was there a reason why he didn't show up? Because he was performing two hours away for a solo concert in front of 200 people in Rochester, New York, and that was more important. Did that cause the big rift between you and Nick? Well, what do you think? Would you be pissed off at your brother if he did that? Yeah. Do you think you're going to lose $10 million, but you got another $10 million stored away, so you're going to leave your family? Like, I can't stand that stuff. I'm a fighter. <laughs> wow. Uh, again, on, on the side of the, you know, if that Nick situation is true, I'm sure there was more, I'm sure there was more to it than just, like, you know, having a concert. I feel like I would hope there's more than just like having a concert, but also, um, obviously things leading up to that event must have been awkward, you know? And, uh, at, we don't really have much story. I, I did a little research and there's really not much in that time frame to really tell us exactly what was going down. But I'm, I think that, Aaron and Nick had been talking after that point because, yeah, if that's 2010, 2011 time period, um, there was a couple of spots where they were okay. So I don't know if that's, you know, Vlad was saying, is, it, is that where the rift started between you and your brother? I think it's, you know, it's always been on and off. Uh, but yeah, that, that's that's a tragic, tragic situation. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Ayo. Out.